हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे माय टॉपिक इज अबाउट प्री कास्ट कंक्रीट स्लैब सो प्री कास्ट कंक्रीट स्लैब इज अ टाइप ऑफ स्लैब व्हिच इज इन इट्स फाइनल शेप बिफोर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग एंड लिफ्टेड टू इट्स प्लेस दिस प्रोसेस इज यूज्ड वेरी लेस इन इंडिया बट आई एम शेयरिंग दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज आई हैव लेड स्लैब फॉर ड्रेन्स इन माय साइट दैट वाज अ स्मॉल स्केल प्रोजेक्ट बट आई एम हियर बाय शेयरिंग माय एक्सपीरियंस and we'll tell you about some of its advantages and why it is used very less in india as so as you can see there is drain on the left hand side and slabs are laying on the right hand side and then these slabs are laid over the drains you can see very clearly from this video now its shattering is a reusable mold constructed according to our requirements it can be of steel wood etc heavy slabs and beams are mostly made in steel here i was as you can see here this is a slab constructed for my site slab of dimension 1.5 foot into 2.5 foot so i had wooden frames for its making i have made shuttering with wooden frames for the slab to be constructed rebars of 12 mm were laid at spacings main bars in 4 inches and temperature bars in 7 inches but as per the spacings specified note approximately 20% of area was covered in rebar thickness of slab was 4 inches now after laying of concrete at the top to hold them as you can see in the video horseshoe like kundas to hold them as you can see in the video horseshoe like kundas we say are made of using rebar 8 mm in diameter now concrete is poured in ratio 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 and was allowed to set and cure for 7 to 14 days to gain strength it is an all done in controlled environment and was then transported to the construction site and position to its place as you have seen it is now position to its place now some of its advantages some of its advantages of pre cast slab first it saves construction time because it can be made or constructed during survey or earthwork and can be installed immediately second cost effective it reduces the time that is why reduced cost less skilled labor required so cost effective increases quality and safety third is durability has a longer duration and low maintenance cost fourth is curing done in a controlled environment that is in construction plant and also ideal conditions and ex exact measurements are provided fifth is weather it can be constructed in all weather conditions sixth water cement ratio water cement ratio can be properly taken seventh wastage material wastage is negligible now most importantly it is more effective and economical than concreting done on site that is liquid concreting done on site but it is of no concern that if it is economical then why not use in numerous projects so some of the major issues or disadvantages that is why they are not used in numerous projects in our country first heavy machines heavy machinery heavy machinery is required that is that is why it is a major issue my work was small but as you see big flyovers bridges heavy machines are used for lifting and placing in position second transportation issue as made in pre cast plants these are heavy to transport third modification once constructed difficult to modify handling a proper care and large machinery is required to handle it carefully as you have seen my uh, my slabs they they were of very small size but also for them four men were required to shift and place one slab fifth joints large number of joints when ready to be placed or installed it requires careful attention sixth knowledge there is a lack of knowledge and very few specialists are available in our country so this was a small video on pre cast slab now you can see its advantages and disadvantages both about 20% more economical than cast in situ slabs that is concreting done on site St but still they are not used in numerous project due to these major issues thank you friends please subscribe the channel